main one I'd like to show you today is it's spinning the stick, I guess, technically, but it's more of a uh, twirling, I guess, between the fingers. Now, this takes a little while to get used to, and uh, you might want to start, if you're a young drummer, start now, because it, it takes a little bit to get your fingers used to doing this. But I'm going to go through all of my fingers to get the stick back around to where I'm holding it like this. So it's very simple. You're going to throw it over the index finger. And then it's going to go through the rest of your fingers down to the pinky and it's going to come right back up. So let me turn a little sideways for you here. And here it is. You go through and back. Just one, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. There it is again. Very simple. Very easy. You just got to get your fingers to line up right and pull the stick through. And once you get that done, uh oh, almost. You can bring it back up with the pinky, which I almost did, but I'll do this one more time. Go through, down. Now, if you catch it with the pinky and pull it back up, it will come back up to your hand, just like it started. Let's see if I can get this right. Down and back up, okay? Down and back up. This one works better when I put a little extra spin to it because I'm using that weight to pull it back up with my pinky. So down and back up, down and back, down and back. It's very easy to do. It just takes time to get used to using your fingers that quick. But down and back up. Now, <clears throat> with that being the case, yes, you can continue it. Have it continually spinning. My farthest is about three, maybe four times. But just like going down and back up, you just keep it going around. So I'll try for two and then go for three. Here we go. Oh, no, not a full two. There. Oh, no. There it was. Two and back up. But we're gonna go two and then back up. So oh I'm sorry, that was one. There's two and then go. There it is. And it's a little stiff today, but two and back up. Really works nice. It looks when you do that one and back up, it really works well. But be careful. I guarantee you, if you do this, try this, you will hit yourself in more places that you care, really don't care to hit yourself in. Um, my knees, groins, eye, whatever. I've hit myself many times in many places that hurt. Down and back. That's it. You know, you can keep it going. Kind of tricky, but... My fingers are getting stiff in old age. <laughs> Maybe you younger guys can uh, like that. Really looks nice when you can do both hands. Okay. Oh, that's a hard one. 
Here we go. Both hands. Okay. Now, I can only go with my left hand. No, I can't get it back up good. So I just do it one time. And that's how it looks. Boosh. Boosh. I only did this during breaks between songs and certain times like that, but I would spin it and bring it back up, and if I don't have nothing behind me, I'll hit, go behind my back. Uh, yeah, right. Um, down, back up, and then back to me. Okay. Down, back up. Uh-oh. Put the chair. Let's try this again. Down, back up, and then Right to a little far out. And down, back up. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> and that's about what I have to show you. I uh, hope it helps out. Hope it uh, adds a little bit more pizzazz to your drum playing and. Uh, maybe makes people a little bit more curious about how to play drums, right? All right, thank you very much. Hello, if you appreciate the effort I took to make these videos, then please let me know by subscribing to my Band Dave channel, YouTube channel, I really appreciate it. And um, also click the like button. They will be, there will be more videos coming soon. Uh, and I um, hope you uh, enjoy them and they help you out. Uh, happy drumming. Thank you.